Well, what makes this story even more difficult? In uh, not necessarily a bad way, is that my mom was raised on the same land that my dad's family was displaced from. Right? So I have this problem right? where Aboriginal and Canadian has traditionally been taught as an inheritance. Uh, those are separate realities. Right? That Aboriginal people do this, Canadians do this. But in my family, that's not the case. Right? <laughs> it's the same reality. Right? So how can I talk about this in a way where I don't have to disown one part of my family? Right? Where I don't have to choose sides? Right? That's, that's my dilemma. Right? But of course, as we know, the Canadian side is quite well known. It's quite well represented. It's the indigenous side that, that isn't. So that's what I'm going to try and, try and do today. Uh, just a, some background here to some of the things I'm going to say. Um, in terms of nation and nationality, I, I guess my main point is that uh, Canadians have been given a specific theory of indigenousness that, that I think conflates very closely with Canadian nation and nationality, that, you know, that theory that's been in schools for a while, right? And it has to do with, uh, I think, this image, which is a, a pretty good representation of uh, some of the things that I want to talk about. Um, and by the way, I think that one thing that's very interesting with students is to put images like this in front of them or the map that I had on previously and get them to interact with it in different ways. And I'll talk a little bit more about this in a minute. It's, it's something that I've worked with. Um, but anyway, um, this, this sketch was created in the context of uh, Red River in 1870. You can see the artist there, William George Richardson Hind. Uh, but I think it's a, it, it, t it tells a story, which is part of what we need to face up to, right? And uh, the story, of course, if you think of the road as like a timeline, right? A linear kind of timeline. And I used to draw those on the board all the time when I was teaching social studies, right? On the horizon there is the future. That's, that's sort of the goal that we're working towards. And the road is like the timeline. And so coming towards us here, we're moving back in time. And you can see the guy who's on the road, he's got this sort of ability, this acumen to move because he's got technology. You know, he's got the horse, he's got the, the wagon. He has this freedom to move. Whereas the, the two folks that are stuck on the side of the road there, they're bewildered. They're static. They're incapable of adjusting to what's going on. Therefore, they're kind of outside of that movement that's going on there. And you can see even the horse is kind of on the wrong side there. <laughs> so my point is that there's sort of a model here of nation and nationality. It's very subtle, I would say. And of course, it's morphed over time. It's taken different forms. But basically, the story is the same, and the dynamic is the same, where there's this exclusion.